So let's have a, a bit of a look through the telescope and uh, see what we can find. So looking through the, uh, the telescope, you can see the uh, inflatable monster, like I said before, lurking on Blackpool Tower. back to a brand new video so today we're going to be starting off at the north pier but it's not next to north pier actually on the north pier for a change so we're going to have a, a quick look what's happening uh, on the north pier but first of all look at them spectacular views how amazing is that and you can just see straight ahead they've actually got the uh, the star flyer up in the air and we're going to have a, a bit of a look around uh, what's going on and how things are developing. But yeah, first of all, we're gonna have a look at this magnificent pier, because this was voted um, everyone's favorite pier. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is your favorite pier or not. Uh, it's actually steeped in history. Uh, a fantastic example of the Victorian era. And who remembers putting the, uh, the money in here when there was a, when there was a kid uh, just looking right out to sea or just seeing the uh, the amazing views. So it's like I said, the uh, view looking inland. And when we swing the camera around, you can see the uh, amazing views out to sea. Uh, it's truly, uh, truly amazing. So yeah, as we move on, you can see the, uh, looks like there's a bit, looks like that one's a, a little rotten there. So I possibly could do with a, a replacement. But yeah, how many people in the years gone by, sat on these, uh, these wonderful seats. Look at that. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, home to the Bloom Bar as well. And yeah, like I said, many people spend a, a lovely afternoon just walking along this pier. Uh, like I said, they've got that Bloom Bar, they've got the, uh, the Joe Longthorpe Theatre, they've got all sorts um, on here. So yeah, we're gonna move a little forward and see what else is on the, uh, the North Pier. So they also have little shops like the Sylvania gift shop, which is there on the left hand side. When we swing the camera around to the right, you can see they've got the uh, traditional ice cream parlor. Lovely ice cream in that one. So yeah, like I said, there's plenty of little, little shops. It's not like the uh, central pier, this one. It's more of a relaxed one and uh, go for a bit of a drink. So this is the, uh, the Bloom Bar. So if you haven't been in this one, like I said, it's a, it's a great sort of family um, atmosphere, a huge place, and you can order food and your drinks. And they've even got like a little, I'm not too sure whether, like a little swing with the horses. It just doesn't come to me, the word doesn't come to me. You'll be cursing me when you're watching this, but yeah, look at those. And uh, these have been here for years. How amazing are they? Look at them. It's not the waltzes, I'm not too sure what it's called. It's just completely a uh, carousel, that's the one the uh, carousel on the North Pier. And uh, just to the left, so it's not running, and you see that little, uh, little engine, little steam engine, little carriages, that runs long from one side of the, uh, the pier to the other. It's like that's not running today. But yeah, this is the, uh, the carousel on, uh, on North Pier. So this is the, uh, the gardens, the uh, Bloom Gardens. Just gonna have a, a quick look because it's a massive great place and it's really busy in the summer. Extraordinary. Like I say, you can just take the seas, the sea view all around. And it's a, it's a wonderful place, look at that. Like I said, what a, what a nice place on a, on a summer's day. Just looking at the, uh, the sea views, incredible. So we're just situated right at the very end of North Pier and you can see it looks like they've got some inflatable um, like sort of s sort of slide thing um, probably sort of ready for the weekend I'd imagine but yeah that's the uh, the right at the very end of North Pier like I said we said can't go right to the very end but yeah what a like I said, what a great view fantastic and as we uh, we pan the camera around to the left you can see Blackpool Tower look at that 
So what, what better, what better way to spend a, a lovely afternoon just taking in the, uh, the views and the surroundings. And you see this board, which is, uh, which is just down right in front of you. So this is where the train runs right to. So it goes right from the, uh, the start of North Pier, right to the, uh, the end of the pier. You see that's the, uh, the theatre there, the, uh, the stage door and everything. That's another, another great one. So yeah, we're going to move on to the, uh, the promenade, see what's going on, see how they're getting developed with this um, Christmas market. So uh, yeah, come and join me uh, a little bit further on. So I'm sure this happened, uh, I think it was in London, where everyone was like putting a, uh, a padlock and you can see some of the uh, inscriptions, miss your mum and things, which is uh, such a nice little uh, tribute. Uh, so they lock them onto the, uh, the fence in, uh, in loving memory. Look at that, what a, what a shot. The uh, wonderful tower, you can just see the uh, monster lurking on the front. And you can also see a uh, central pier just in the distance too. So looking through the, uh, the telescope, you can see the uh, inflatable monster, like I said before, lurking on Blackpool Tower. So I'm right back at the at the start, and this is where you uh, you queue up to take the train at the uh, the end of the pier. So we'll have a, a quick look inside um, of the uh, the North Pier. So this is what you see uh, when you first come in. So we've been in a little little back to front, shall I say? But yeah, this is what it's uh, what it's like inside. This is, uh, is a family fun arcade straight up the uh, straight up the steps, and uh, just whipping round to the uh, left, you got wonderful little gardens, little tea rooms, and uh, little cakes and desserts which you can purchase. Um, just uh, the opposite side again, you got a fantastic little bar, little seating area all around. You can uh, have your drink inside or outside and uh, just swing the camera around to the uh, to the right that is where you uh, enter to go on to the pier so we've now rejoined the uh, the promenade and uh, we're gonna have a, a quick look at the uh, the christmas market because it's certainly motoring on and uh, it's the first we so we've got sort of two weeks today uh, the 15th and then it'll be uh, up and running for everybody to uh, to enjoy you can see that uh, green monster i'd imagine you've seen it many times on people's videos that's there uh, still lurking away on the uh, on the tower but yeah as we uh rejoin the uh the comedy carpet you can see there's all sorts going on all sorts of uh, lorries being uh, turning up being delivered there's all sorts um, which is happening. So I'd imagine these are part of the shops, the stages. And, uh, just look at the, uh, the amount of equipment, what is being delivered. And this is just uh, one of many, many trucks. So it's, uh, it's crash bang wallop and get this one up. See all the uh, windbreakers now up. There's measuring going on. And uh, what, a, what a great event this is going to be. Like I said, you know, it's in two weeks' time. And the, uh, the amount of uh, organising, preparations, what is going into this is going to be incredible. And I think I've, I popped a poll up. So I think that 85% said this is the most uh, favourable time of the year to, uh, to celebrate Christmas. I know some people, you know, they don't celebrate it. You know, so it's, you know, it's their belief. But yeah, 85% said this is a magical time for them. And you can just see, like I said, the, uh, the workmanship, what goes into this, obviously like the, like the prefabricator, but you see all the wood and everything. So it's, you know, obviously it's altered and made to measure. And uh, yeah, as we go around, 
and there's all sorts going on absolutely all sorts we've got windmills going up we've got everything and like i said this is supposed to be the uh, bigger and better than any year in blackpool's history this uh, christmas market and yeah as you can see most of it's cordoned off so the comedy carpet's not cordoned off but um, a lot of it is cordoned off oh, yeah you see uh, like a little windmill there so I don't think that was there last year. I ain't seen that one, so that's new. And you can see the uh, the crane looks like it. The the building that uh, that star flyer. And like I said, there's all sorts of uh, all sorts of things going on. You see people just sort of sat and stood watching um, the uh, developments. And, uh, yeah, you can see the. Uh, that one's on a crane, so I imagine that'll be uh, getting hoisted up. You see the workmen on top. And uh, just moving around to the uh, to the left. You can see there's like a, a ramp there as well. So it's, uh, it's all going on. Look at this. You see they've, uh, they've got a, a lot of work to get through. You see those two guys just in the top of the, uh, like, a, like a, a hoist crane. And let's just, just have a, a quick look how far this one goes up because uh, let's have a look how far it goes up. Look at that. That is high. So, so it looks like that windmill. It actually says German sausage. So that's the old uh, German sausages be, uh, being sold from that one. And like I said, you know, they've got the send it all look how far that one goes up look at that it's still going that is a uh, that is some height so you can see now it's uh it's getting elevated so we'll just go up a little bit closer there's another piece of the uh, the jigsaw Yeah, we'll just keep this one for a little bit because uh, like I said, it's amazing how the uh, the manoeuvre in the air, the weight on them as well. Look at that. So, yeah, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of rides turning up and uh, this is probably the uh, the star attraction. And it's just, you see, it's a... Uh, elevated in the air at the moment and uh, you can see there's a guy obviously he walks he sort of walked all the way up there looks like he'd be uh, going on top of that look how high that's going up at the moment and there's another piece going up it's uh, certainly incredible See, it's uh, it's getting higher and higher, just swaying a, a little there. Uh, wow, what a! You certainly need steady hands to uh, operate this one. You can see, just swinging over slightly. And I see, and just see how high this is actually going to be. 196 feet. It's uh, completed. And, uh, I wouldn't like to be standing below that one at the minute. Like I said, you certainly need a steady hand on those controls. And you see, there's a, there's a guy there. Let's have a, a quick look. You see, he's uh, letting the slack up. Uh, there it is. So it's a bit of a, a specialist operation, this one. Let's just go right back up the top. And uh, obviously that's going to be uh, rejoined and make that uh, star flyer even higher. And there it is. 
is going to be uh, joining up. Just see they're getting the uh, the angles in line. Uh, I think we'll uh, they leave the uh, the staff like there for a, a moment. Uh, I think the uh, they're taking it right up. You see the uh, the guys uh, all different angles. I think there's three of them, two or three of them all together, just uh, holding it nice and still while it gets uh, reattached. Or shall I say attached, apologies. So I hope you enjoyed that little uh, little tour of the uh, the Christmas market. And uh, like I said, what we'll do, we'll move on a little bit more towards that central plane. You see the, uh, the views again of the beach, really fantastic. There's a few people dotted about, um, just uh, taking that bit of fresh air in. And yeah, so it's certainly, uh, Certainly going ahead, that Christmas market, it's, uh, it's fantastic. Like I said, it's going to be uh, bigger and better than before. And uh, we'll have a quick look on the way back, so I believe the waltzes as well has just landed. And looks like they'll be uh, erecting those very soon. Uh, looks like he's, uh, he's taking the views in as well. And uh, looks like the, uh, the love perching along here. There he is. I bet you could tell us a few stories what's been happening, couldn't you, with these storms? Oh, it looks like he's actually only got one leg, poor thing. Oh, I won't go too close to him. Oh, look, he's, uh, he's lost his leg. So we'll wish him all the best, so I won't go too close. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you still see people. Like I said, it's a bit of a murky day, overcast, but people still venture out. And this is why Blackpool is the second most visited place in the United Kingdom. So I was going to walk back a little further, head towards the uh, the north side. See an ambulance just rushing away. So you, you must get, I'd say, about 100, 150 ambulances um, coming along this stretch of road. And yeah, so what we're going to do? We're going to head on a little bit towards the uh, the uh, north pier. Just have a look, see if the uh, waltzes have arrived. So just walking past the uh, the Blackpool Tower, and you see all the uh, the horse and carriage there was a uh, great for a fantastic ride. I think they believe a twenty pound, but again, it's one in a lifetime experience. And just thought I'd mention I met a couple of lovely followers from Birmingham, and they're going back today. So uh, I hope they have a a very safe trip back. And they say yeah. Uh, they absolutely love Blackpool. Always plenty to do, which is uh, which is fantastic. So we'll have a quick look again at the uh, the developments, and you see, like I said, how many people are just uh, taking the uh, taking the scenes and just watching things get developed. So let's just whip the camera around and a uh, last look for today at the. Uh, the developments for the uh, Christmas market. Let's even go a, a little closer um, to them. Because I said, you know, in uh, 15 days time, this is gonna be, become uh, a winter wonderland. So I do hope you enjoyed that. Bit of a walk around, bit of an update with the, uh, the Christmas market. Like I said, lovely to meet uh, a couple of, uh, in fact, I met sort of three lots of uh, followers, which is fantastic. Always great to see them, uh, have a chat with them, which is fantastic. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, you do like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So until next time, take care of yourselves, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.